Hello, my name is Craig Earlham, Senior Market Analyst at Oanda. Today we're going to talk about the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. Now this is a currency pair where we have seen a lot of consolidation over the last number of months. At this moment in time we look to have consolidated uh, down to between uh, 70 and 72. Now these are really interesting levels as far as I'm concerned uh, and the reason is this, the most recent price movements have been to the upside. We've seen a return of risk appetite in the market and I think most notably the China data has helped to support this. Uh, from that China data we've had an encouraging list of PMIs, most notably the manufacturing PMIs. We've had some encouraging trade figures in terms of the import and export numbers. We've also had uh, an encouraging GDP reading yesterday with uh, growth at 6.4% in the first quarter of this year. That was above market um, expectations. And we've had a couple of other indicators as well, which again have been encouraging. This has helped to lift the US, the Australian dollar, because it's a major export, because China is a major export market of it, especially for raw materials such as iron ore. So when the Chinese economy is doing well, especially from an infrastructure perspective, then that tends to benefit the Australian dollar and of course the Australian uh, economy. So that's provided some nice upside pressure. What's potentially capping that upside pressure at the moment is the fact that the RBA, the Reserve Bank of Australia, the central bank there, is suggesting now that maybe the next rate move may not be high. There may actually be a case building if inflation doesn't build uh, for a, uh, an actual rate cut rather than a rate hike. Firstly, this is very much uh, uh, similar to other central banks around the world. The Federal Reserve seems to have put its tightening cycle on hold. The ECB has put it on hold before it's even got started. And other central banks are very much following suit. But the Australian central bank talking about a potential rate cut uh, uh, rather than a rate hike is just adding to that noise and potentially putting a little bit of downside near-term pressure on the Australian dollar just as it started to edge on higher. From a purely technical standpoint, we are looking at a chart here that looks more bearish potentially than bullish despite the recent price action simply because we are consolidating on a flat bottom around those 70 levels. 72 is the most recent kind of peak levels but the highs are moving lower which is dragging the, the currency pair lower and again the textbooks do tell us that this is typically a bearish signal. However that doesn't mean that a move to the upside can't materialise and if it does on the back of some stronger Chinese figures, stronger risk appetite and we see a breakthrough 72 that could be really Really significant because that would take us through a couple of key moving averages as you can see on that chart they would take us through that trend line and it would also suggest we're seeing a reversal of uh, of the trend and a breakthrough 72 then 73 and 74 become notable resistance levels having been so before but as I say the fact that we are breaking a trend here could be really significant could be a strong catalyst for a uh, potentially exacerbated move to the upside if we continue to see this trade lower then we continue to see the consolidation we've seen another failure to actually break those previous highs as we have done on previous occasions then again that just puts additional pressure on that 70 level it's long held as support but the questions are going to be raised now how much longer can it continue to hold especially when any rallies are being sold into earlier and earlier and earlier so the more they squeeze the more we consolidate the more volatility you're potentially building up the key test remains for me. Can we break through 72 to the upside during a series of positive momentum? If not, then that's just another bearish signal that puts additional pressure on that 70 level. And then again, when you're looking below 69, 68 are the most obvious levels which do stand out. We saw a bout of volatility previously, which saw a, a sharp sell-off in the Australian dollar on the day. Um, that doesn't necessarily give us too much information, unfortunately, because this was a kind of flash crash of the Australian dollar. But I think 69, 68 are notable uh, clear uh, potential support zones for the Australian dollar if we do see a break below that 70 level.